Linda Evans here, Engaging ESL Students, Building Background. Today, tip number four. Bring a handful of pine needles and let the students break them open, smell them up close, and feel the sticky sap while you read from a story or a textbook. We know that smell is a powerful memory trigger. One of my favorite sayings comes from Diane Ackerman. It's from her book, A Natural History of the Senses. She says, hit a tripwire of smell and memories explode all at once. Yeah, can you get that? You get a whiff of something and all oh, those memories, too many words at once to explain it. We know smell is a powerful memory trigger. Let me show you how this can work. Let's say you're reading Gary Paulson's book, Hatchet. The one where the boy is in the plane crash in the Canadian wilderness and then he has to survive all by himself among the pine trees. You could be reading from that story. The students could be breaking open those pine needles smelling them, touching the sticky sap, which by the way you can use Pam cooking oil to get rid of later, or some people say peanut butter. Maybe it's not even a story. Maybe you're actually teaching about evergreen pine. Couldn't you read from your reference text and do the same thing? It's a great way to add a direct experience to the indirect experience or virtual experience of reading. Remember, strong, powerful memory triggers come from smells. So that's tip number four in building background. See you next time.